Uh, a little intro and then just kind of yeah. bit of backstory. Are we rolling? Yeah, you can <laughs> All right, cool. I can, I can just look yeah. at you. All right, great. Yeah, what's up? I'm Asa Butterfield. I'm here in Utrecht for the first time at the Alienware facility. So my acting career, I guess, I mean, it is a career. <laughs> I don't know why I do air quotes. It is, it's literally what I do for a living. Yeah, I started when I was really young, like eight years old. And then I had my first kind of breakthrough role in The Boy in the Striped Pajamas. But it kind of started there properly, I'd say. And since then, I kind of been working most years on different jobs. I did another big film called Hugo when I was 13. Most recently, I've been working on a Netflix show called Sex Education uh, for the last three or so years, which has been a lot of fun. A little bit about myself. Uh, so I'm from the UK, I grew up in London, um, lived there my whole life. But in terms of my family, it's me and my brother, uh, and then I got two younger sisters uh, who were quite a lot younger than me. I had a surprisingly like normal time just in school and just in general. I, it was, for a long time, it was just me and my older brother, um, and I went, just went to a normal school in London. And I kind of appreciated that because it is a very adult industry and when you're kind of 12, 13 years old, you still want to be able to learn the things you need to as a kid, otherwise you miss out on that experience. So I made sure I could still have that, I guess, and play games and kind of go to school <laughs> and do the normal teenage shit. Keyboard. No keyboard. Okay. Oh, this is a nightmare. Go. Flee. 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 Get out of here. Oh, that was a disaster. <laughs> shit, shit. No. Oh, fuck. <laughs> no. You took my jump. So free. Oh, I'm so tired and I still want some other comedy Yeah, I, I've always played games growing up. My first console was a GameCube, I'm pretty sure. And I remember playing Double Dash and The Wind Waker. Those were like the first two games. I think I got for maybe Christmas one year. I must have been about four years old, maybe five years old. Well, I remember watching my brother play it because he was older than me <laughs> for a lot of the time. And then Jedi Knight Academy, that was like the first PC game I played. I remember my dad having that and then finding out it was like the cheat codes and shit, just spawning in random people. Yeah, no, I love games. Uh, always played them growing up. Kind of been a part of my life and met a lot of my best friends through games. I did a short film maybe a couple years ago and I brought my Switch because I, uh, I play a lot of Smash. I got there and I was just chatting to one of the guys. I was like, and he was like, oh, you play games? I was like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I play Pokemon with Smash. And he was like, oh, no way, so do I. And there were like four of us, four of us guys. And we ended up realizing we all play loads of Smash. <laughs> and so like after, on the second day, we all came back to set, all brought our Switches. And in our off time, we're just playing Smash like in, in the like green room. So it was great. But that doesn't happen all the time. Uh, but it is, it's a nice way just to kind of relax or kind of like take your mind after a long day put your feet up, play some Dota. Although Dota is not the most relaxing game <laughs> at times. There she goes. Oh. oh, that's so lame. That's such a lame hero. I think it's only fair. I'll give you, give me an extra life. No. Yeah. Yeah, I think, I mean, esports, it's been getting bigger and bigger and bigger over the like, as everyone knows. But there's still a lot of people who, yeah, they've heard of esports at this point, but they don't really understand who is a part of it and what it takes to compete at this level and the kind of sort of passion and, and effort that's been put into this world to make it where it is. And it's all kind of been built from the ground up, from grassroots, um, which is what's crazy. And it's, and it's been going on for years. And I just think it'd be amazing to kind of introduce people to that, and uh, especially people who have no idea about it or who have preconceptions already of what esports are or what esports players are. The more respect that these players and these, these communities and these teams have, the better, because they deserve it. And it's like, it's, it's a huge amount of work that's put in. And it's a nice vibe here and it's, it's a real kind of family. And that's kind of what I wanted. And I, and I wanted to try and be a part of that and to bring that into my work or it, introduced people in my industry to the world of esports um, and it just felt kind of natural. <laughs> 